Pupianus. Pupianus Marcus Clodius Pupianus Maximus, born c. 168-29, July 238, was Roman emperor with Balvinus for three months in 238, during the year of the six emperors. The sources for this period are scant, and thus knowledge of the emperor is limited. In most contemporary texts, Pupianus is referred to by his cognomen Maximus rather than by his second nomen family name Pupianus. Origins and Early Career The Historia Augusta, whose testimony is not to be trusted unreservedly, paints Pupianus as an example of advancement through the cursus honorum due to military success. It claims he was the son of a blacksmith, was adopted by one Pessenia Marcellina otherwise unknown, and who started his career as a centurio primus pilus before becoming a tribunus militum, and then a praetor. Pupianus's career was allegedly impressive, serving a number of important posts during the reign of the Severan dynasty throughout the late 2nd and early 3rd centuries. This included assignment as proconsul of the senatorial propraetorial provinces of Bithynia at Pontus, Achaea, and Gallia Narbonensis. In fact, Pupianus was part of the aristocracy, albeit a minor member, and his family had possibly been elevated only recently. Hailing from the Etruscan city of Volterra, it has been speculated that Pupianus was the son of Marcus Pupianus Maximus, a senator who was the first member of his family to enter the Senate, and wife Clodia Pulchra. The claim in the Historia Augusta that Pupianus held three Praetorian proconsular governorships is unlikely. For one thing, as Bernard Ramai points out, during Pupianus' lifetime, the province of Bithynia at Pontus was an imperial one, governed by an imperial legatus. Rimai points out another problem, that being awarded three praetorian proconsular governorships violates what we know of Roman practice and lacks any similar cases. Rimai pointedly quotes the opinion of André Chastignal, who recommended to admit an information provided by the Augustan history only if it is confirmed by another document and considers that, faced with such an unreliable source, one must permit methodical doubt and hypercritical attitude to prevail. No fasti or list of governors of any of the three provinces, to which the Historia Augusta assigns Pupianus includes him as a governor. After his consulship around the year 222, his cursus honorum is much more reliable. Pupianus was later assigned as imperial legate to one of the German provinces, most probably after his first suffect consulship, circa 207 AD. While governor, he scored military victories over the Sarmatians and German tribes. At some point after he concluded his duties in the German province, the Sortitian awarded him proconsular governorship of Asia. In 234, during the last years of Severus Alexander's reign, he was installed as consul for the second time. In that same year, he was also appointed urban prefect of Rome and gained a reputation for severity, to the extent that he became unpopular with the Roman mob. Reign. When Gordian I and his son were proclaimed emperors in Africa, the Senate appointed a committee of twenty men, including the elderly Senator Pupianus, to coordinate operations against Maximinus Thrax until the arrival of the Gordians. On the news of the Gordians' defeat and deaths, however, the Senate met in closed session in the Temple of Jupiter Capitolinus and voted for two members of the committee to be installed as co-emperors Pupianus and Balbinus. Unlike the situation in 161 with Marcus Aurelius and Lucius Verus, both emperors were elected as Pontifices Maximi, chief priests of the official cults. According to Edward Gibbon drawing on the narratives of Herodian and the Historia Augusta, the choice was sensible. The mind of Maximus Pupianus was formed in a rougher mold than that of Balbinus. 
By his valor and abilities he had raised himself from the meanest origin to the first employments of the state and army. His victories over the Sarmatians and the Germans, the austerity of his life, and the rigid impartiality of his justice whilst he was prefect of the city, commanded the esteem of a people whose affections were engaged in favor of the more amiable Balbinus. The two colleagues had both been consul, and, since the one was sixty and the other seventy-four years old, they had both attained the full maturity of age and experience. However, factions within the Senate who had hoped to profit from the accession of the Gordians manipulated the people, and the Praetorian Guard to agitate for the elevation of Gordian Roman III as their imperial colleague. Leaving his senior colleague Balbinus in charge of the civil administration at Rome, sometime during late April, Cupianus marched to Ravenna, where he oversaw the campaign against Maximinus, recruiting German auxiliary troops who had served under him whilst he was in Germania. After Maximinus was assassinated by his soldiers just outside Aquileia, Pupianus dispatched both Maximinus' troops and his own back to their provinces along with a considerable donative and returned to Rome with his newly acquired German bodyguard. Balbinus, in the meantime, had failed to keep public order in the capital. The sources suggest that Balbinus suspected Pupianus of using his German bodyguard to supplant him, and they were soon living in different parts of the imperial palace. This meant that they were at the mercy of disaffected elements in the Praetorian Guard, who resented serving under Senate-appointed emperors, and now plotted to kill them. Pupianus, becoming aware of the threat, begged Balbinus to call for the German bodyguard. Balbinus, believing that this news was part of a plot by Pupianus to have him assassinated, refused, and the two began to argue just as the Praetorians burst into the room. Both emperors were seized and dragged back to the Praetorian barracks where they were tortured, hacked to death in the bathhouse. Family. Three individuals have been identified as his children. Titus Clodius Pupianus Pulcher Maximus, Consul Suffectus C. 235, and patron of the town of Tibur outside Rome, has been identified as his oldest son. Marcus Pupianus Africanus Maximus, Consul Ordinarius in 236 as the colleague of the Emperor Maximinus Thrax, has been identified as his youngest son. These consulships in the family, across the reigns of Severus Alexander and Maximinus Thrax, Pupianus also had a daughter named Pupianus Sextia Paulina Cethegilla, wife of Marcus Ulpius Eubiotus Lurus.